Hey guys, okay, so we're going to try to do this video again, and I realized that when I did this that I forgot to cover my credit cards up. So rather than sitting here for an hour um, covering everything up, I am covering it real quick. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm going to flip through here and make sure there's nothing that you all can't see. Um, so many of you know I went back to a junior um, this weekend and of course carrying it around um, this weekend in my little bit of outings that I did I found that um, the weight difference is crazy so this is my junior how it stands right now I am on a one and a half inch disc um, it's not super full. It has a lot of playroom. It, I mean, I'm not holding on to it at the bottom, so it's just sort of open. Um, all of these were done with the Cameo Silhouette. If you're wanting one made, um, let me know. If you uh, have a Cameo and you're wanting to know how to do them, I am working on trying to figure out how to record myself. Um, so you can see the screen. I have an iPad, but it'll only let me upload like 10 minute videos. Not sure what that's all about. I do have my little mini pouch on the front. And this is the cutest little charm that I got from Debbie. Thank you, Miss Debbie. And it has a butterfly, which some of you can tell I like butterflies. I have them everywhere. An H, a little envelope, and a crab. And then she, you gotta see this little crab up here. I have a spot up at the top of my desk that is a pegboard. So I have him hanging up there and I'll have to put him back up when I'm done. Um, but Debbie sent me some of the cutest little things, some little trinkets. Um, some of them, one of them is a little breast cancer clip um, that I already have in my book. Um, I've already started using some of the things that she sent me and of course I didn't do a video because I thought it was from an old group that I belong to and just a residual rack that was coming in so I didn't um, I didn't I didn't prepare myself for that um, but it was really sweet and I wasn't expecting it and that was awesome so thank you okay so back to beaniekins I did not take the E off of beaniekins Darcy owns um, that domain and I decided that I was going to um, I was going to leave the E on. A, I had already added it to my book um, and B, Darcy owns B-E-A-N-I-K-I-N-S so this is B-E-A-N-I-E-K-I-N-S because I I-E -E everything or E-Y it because of my name. Okay. So in here I have my Franklin Covey um, little card holder. I, I am going to get the ARC ones, I think. Um, I think they hold, I think Darcy said they hold eight cards. So that would be more than this holds. And I do have some cards that I don't carry with me all the time that I should. Here's my poly divider, or my poly pocket. I have some little extra clippings of stickers that were left over from a page. I have a full size post-it note. Um, one of the larger ones. I think it's a three by five. I have my little translucent strips from Darcy. Then in my pocket I have a thing of post-it notes. I think Darcy got those at the container store. I have some to-do lists, um, things I need to enter in the computer. I have extra to-do pads here. Then you get into my October. So, I went a little crazy with stickers this, this month. Um, so, how I do the, my DIY fish is I want to be able to see my month at a view. And for some reason, my clip is in, there we go, is in the wrong place. Um, I want to be able to see my, what's going on here, Mr. Clip? You're not cooperating. There we go. Um, because I'm not putting it on right. I want to be able to see my 
month at a view. But it's not an everyday thing that I have to view. So I just leave it like that. I clip the previous week to the week at a view. So then I can open that up and I can see what's going on. Then I take another clip and I clip together like yesterday's page is back here and then today and I have my today little bar. Um, and then today is one of those days that I needed my bigger book. So what I found was going to work for me is I took my, and I'm backing up so you can't read it, um, I took my post-it notes and I actually did, I layered them. And then I took the little page flags and I marked, you know, what the notes were. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow and these are notes in regards to that. So I didn't want to write them on here because I'm actually going to transfer them to tomorrow um, when we get there. So then as far as the next weeks are concerned, this week is all loose and just, you know, in there ready to be used. can't turn my my pages right um, oh I keep my week thing closed but then each week is folded over so that I can if I need to get to that week I can just flip the page and open it up and insert it now then we get to November November is not decorated yet, and I won't decorate it until we're about a week out. So, I do have stickers in here for important events, and then I have only the week page. Um, as we get closer, I may add the weeks in just so I can start filling them up. But for instance, when we flip to December, and I keep the month page holding that all together. So when we get to December, you'll see a little bit more. So here's my December. The first week in December, yep, I went to the second week. The first week in December, we have um, a family member coming into town. I have their flight information here. It is on a post-it note because you know how flights change and things change. Um, so then you go through a couple more weeks and what week does she come in? Okay, so then we have another family member coming in, actually two, family member and her boyfriend. And then we go to the last week that has um, she and her boyfriend fly out this day and then uh, I have something that needs to actually transfer to January um, but I don't have my January book in here so I'll just fill this up with post-its and it's got the date written on the top um, so like for instance it says Wes Houston to BWI 15 his flight information and what time the next page the next divider is still my household um, and I think I actually had put my household as my third divider not sure how how that's gonna work yet I'm still playing with it so I paid a bill you can print everything off on um, two pages on one sheet and cut them in half and they fit then I have some to-do pads I plan on making this my list section. I just haven't started my lists yet. Don't know what this is going to be. And then this is all family. Um, I have the kids' social security cards and mine in here. I have then something I need to handle that is a personal nature. Well, it's PTO involved, but it has some personal information for that person in there. Then I have the um, kids' school calendars. I have the public school and then the college here in the back. I don't normally access those because I generally have it written in my calendar already. Um, 
but I like to have it for a real quick glance. So if somebody set calls and says, you know, when's Thanksgiving break? Um, I can tell them if they call now, I don't have my March in here. So I wouldn't be able to tell them when Easter break is, except for I have a year at a view. So that's it. Um, I'm using my money or my bag to hold um, any cash. I normally don't carry a lot of cash with me. So I'm not sure what that is going to turn into. But I have actually, I had been considering getting a um, Filofax and using it as a wallet. And then I got to thinking, I really like how empty my purse is um, with just this in there. So I'm considering not even going with a Filofax and sticking with my junior and seeing what we can do and I also do have a tendency to carry my little Polly junior with me also and so that's really not that much when it comes to a Grace Adele Shelby I can stick all of this in I still have room for my punch I have room for a hairbrush which I didn't with my with my full size in there so yeah that's it we're going to try to make some videos this week. I do have meetings um, scheduled for tomorrow. I have a PTO meeting and a doctor's appointment. Um, so I'll be out most of the day. Darcy is in the process of preparing her office to be repainted, which brings her off um, as far as being able to do certain admin duties. Um, so I will be popping in and out, taking care of those duties. And then, you know, talking to people and, uh, you know, just sort of catching up with everything that's going on. Um, so one thing that I did want to, uh, to st let everybody know, we're not trying to be mean, um, but there is no direct sales links in here. Um, at the very beginning of the group, um, Sensi was discontinuing carrying the Grace Adele line. And Darcy um, asked for permission to post a link to a friend's website. Darcy actually sells Sensi. Um, I allowed it. It became, you know, the purses were on sale for $16. It was not going directly to her at the time. She wasn't selling. Um, and it, so it, it wasn't an issue. It, we also had 70 some people in our group. Now at over 900, we have to draw a line. There are no direct sales. If you're going to make, um, you know, a profit off of somebody shopping from your, or from that website, um, we would prefer not to see it. If it's a charity, um, such as smiles.com, I believe is what it is, and Darcy would have to correct me on it. Um, that's different in my eyes. If you know, But please get our permission. Send us a link. Let us take a look at it. Um, let us validate it. And it, we're just doing it to protect everybody. We're doing it so that everyone um, doesn't feel inundated with requests for people to buy things if you know if we find out that people are you know finding a way to make it seem like it's a charity you know like um, and Darcy I'm just using this as an example if um, Darcy's mom runs a charity and if Darcy was to you know set up a party for the charity um, we'd have to think long and hard about that you know because Darcy's a member she's an admin um, she would be profiting from it and the charity would be profiting so as much as I like to say the charity is great to you know post things about it needs to be on a case-by-case -case basis it needs to be something that we discuss um, because if a member is you know holding the party or whatever um, it probably will not be permitted 
Um, we're still working out fine details, guys. We're only almost four months old, and you know we're already hitting you know high numbers. You know over 900. If we didn't you know rotate through and get out people who don't post, don't comment, don't like, don't do anything in the group for a month, we'd probably be close to 1,500 people. That's a lot. It's a lot of time for Darcy and I. We appreciate everybody's offers to help admin. Darcy and I both have the same opinion that, you know, sometimes it's better not to have too many cooks in the kitchen or Indians and not enough chiefs and that type of thing. Um, we're trying not to have to be ruly, um, you feel like you're being watched. So we just would like to keep it sort of personal and quiet. Um, if the two of us decide that we can't handle it, we'll let you guys know. Um, we won't close the page down, but we will put out a scream for help. Um, and it will go out to all members. Everyone will have the opportunity. We will sit down and visit it and, you know, figure out who we feel is best matched. Personality-wise, um, as far as what our goals are for the group and whatnot. So, but as of right now, we are 900 plus members. And I'm actually going to look here real quick so I can tell you. We have 931 members as of today, as of right this moment. So, we're going good. Um, but like I said earlier today, I will be away from the computer most of the day. And I'll pop in here and there. If you have a friend who is wanting in the group, please tell them to give us a few days that we both have things going on. Um, we do not add anyone to the group unless we have a good hour to two hours to sit in front of the computer and watch the new people. Because if it's a spammer, they're going to come in within the first two hours and they're going to start spamming our, our page. So... Darcy and I like to be there and watching whenever we do that and I don't know at this point that either one of us will have time in the next few days to do that so as it stands right now we have 112 people requesting to get in the group um, I know Darcy there for a little bit was going and doing like 10 people at a time um, just to you know if you haven't posted if you haven't commented if you haven't done anything with the site you know and you've been here since so she's going all the way back to when we first started I mean we're not talking if you haven't done anything in the last two weeks um, we're going back you know almost four months and pulling from those people the other day she dropped out ten people and she brought in ten people um, She's much more talented at multi-screening. She's actually got two screens going, I believe. So it makes it a little easier for her to do it. Um, if need be, I, I can go on and do it uh, when I come back. I'll just set up another one of the kids' computers or something. But as for right now, I'm going to sign off. I got PTO stuff to do. So drama, drama. But anyhow, guys, i got to get treasurer's books ready to hand over to the new treasurer. I'm excited. Don't understand. I don't like doing that part. That's not part of my job I like. So, all right, guys. Have a good one.